This is Ryan with Parts Doctor. In this video, I'm going to show you to replace the thermistor on your Whirlpool refrigerator. Let's get started. If you need to buy a thermistor kit, check out our website, partsdoctor.com, where we sell parts for all major appliance brands. Since you'll be working with the refrigerator's electrical components, disconnect power to the refrigerator. There are two thermistors on this refrigerator. One is located in the freezer compartment, and the other is located in the main refrigerator compartment. The thermistors measure the air temperature inside the refrigerator and freezer compartments. The temperature from the sensor is then communicated to the main control board, where it uses this information to properly control the cooling cycles. If one or both of the thermistors fail, the refrigerator or freezer may not cool properly. This may result in the fridge being too cold or not cold enough. You can check out our other video that shows how to test the sensor. First, you'll need to access the thermistor that you are going to replace and remove the cover. With access to the thermistor, cut off the old thermistor. Cut as close to the old thermistor as possible to ensure that you have enough wire left to splice the new thermistor in place. Then, separate the two wires by cutting the insulation in half. Pull the two ends apart. Next, strip roughly one quarter inch of insulation off of each of the wires. When shopping for a new thermistor, be sure you're searching with the model number from the tag on your refrigerator to make sure you get the correct part. Start by also stripping one quarter inch of insulation off of the new thermistor. It's important to note that the wires on the new thermistor can connect to either of the existing wires. There is no polarity. To splice the new thermistor in place, align the ends of the wires, then twist them together. Next, place the connectors over the wires and crimp them in place. Be certain that they are tight. With the new thermistor successfully spliced, snap it back into the retainer on the cover and route the wires. Then reinstall the cover. That's it for this video. If you learned something new, hit that like button. And if you enjoy fixing things and want to see more videos like this or these, please consider subscribing.